In this video, I will explain two methods for generating pulse switch modulation signals and for controlling servo motors using a Raspberry Pi microcontroller. So what is a servo motor? A servo motor is a closed loop servo mechanism that uses position feedback to control its motion and final position. These motor types are widely used in robotics and mechatronics applications. We control servo motors using full switch modulation signals. So here you can see an example of a full switch modulation signal. Basically it is a periodic uh, signal with a period equal to capital T and with a pulse width equal to lowercase t. Um, basically, the rotation angle of a servo motor is controlled uh, by changing the pulse width t. So here you can see for shorter pulse width, the angle is zero. By increasing the pulse width, the angle basically increases. So here is the sketch of the system. Basically, the servo motor has three wires. The yellow wire is a signal wire. The red one is a power wire and the black one is the ground wire. The signal wire is attached to GPIO 18 and we use 560 ohm resistor. We use the resistor to protect the GPIO pins. However, if a servo motor uh, needs to uh, overcome a significant mechanical load, then a more appropriate protection system needs to be used. We'll talk more about this in our next video. In order to control the motor, we need to see what are the typical values of the pulse width. So on the following website, we can find the motor specification. And we can see that the range of the pulse width is from 550 to 2500 microseconds. On the other hand, more useful information about a motor can be found on the following website. So we can see if the pulse width is uh, equal to 1500 microseconds, then the servo arm will move to the neutral position. Furthermore, we can see that a 45 degrees rotation corresponds to 400 microseconds. There are two ways for generating PWM signals. The first method is based on an internal Raspberry Pi PWM generator. This is a hardware-based method. And first, we are going to explain this method. So this line is used to declare that the GPIO 18 pin is the PWM pin. These three lines are used to set the PWM frequency. In our case, the frequency will be 50 Hz, which is a typical value for controlling servo motors. You can also increase the frequency. Now, here we send basically pulse width modulation signals, and the length of the pulse width in our case is 15 100 microseconds. Notice that here it's written 150 because one corresponds to 10 microseconds. For more details, see the post I wrote. The link is given in the description. So let us see how the hardware based PWM works in practice. So here you see motor rotating, and here you see on your oscilloscope you see the pulse width modulation signals. Now, let's see what actually we are sending. So here is the while loop, and here's uh, how the system works. So we first go to neutral position, we wait for 500 milliseconds, then we rotate for 45 degrees, then wait again, go back to the neutral position, wait again, go minus 45 degrees from the neutral position, and 
this is basically how the system works. Here again, here is the motor rotating. You see nicely the angles. And here, are, here is the pull switch modulation signal. You will see later that this signal is much smoother and the motor operates uh, much better compared to software-based pulse speed modulation control. Here is one interesting observation. So this is PWM signal when the power supply is turned off. Here is where we measure with the oscilloscope the PWM signal. So this is the signal, signal probe, and this is the ground, ground probe. Now, let's see what will happen when we turn on the power supply. Interesting observation. The second method is based on the software PWM library. So here is the code. We will just briefly go over the code. More details can be found on the post uh, and the link is given below. So with this line, we basically create 50 Hertz PWM signal. And with this line, we produce a pulse width of 1500 microseconds. So here is how the software-based PWM control works in practice. Here is the code used to control the motor. The code is equivalent to the hardware-based PWM code. Here is the pulse width modulation signal on the oscilloscope. And if you turn off the power supply, same phenomena can be observed. Turn on the power supply. 